Hello, thank you for checking out my video. Um, I just made this little thing here. Uh, sorry about the poor quality. I know it's not really up to par. I'm working on getting one of those little hypercam things set up so you can just take a vis you know visual image of your screen. So I am sorry about that. I'm using my webcam and my webcam microphone, so it sucks. But this is actually uh, I couldn't get some sleep tonight, so I decided to try something. A friend of mine just did one of those weight loss recreation things on Photoshop, and I kind of got a little jealous, and I wanted to see if I could match him. So this is actually a picture of me taken about two or three years ago. Uh, I was a good-looking man there. And basically what I wanted to do was eliminate some of the weight loss that's, you know, some of the weight gain that's right here and see if I could in some way try and make myself look a little thinner, you know, and for practice for other customers. And so over about an hour of learning new tools and figuring out a few different tricks, I put it all together and this is what I have for you. This is the main starter image and then we bring it up to a little bit of weight loss and some facial touch-up to lose some of the small pimples that I had at the time. You see it's quite a big difference. So you can definitely check out the weight loss right here around the chin. And then if you look at the bags under the eyes, I was able to eliminate a lot of those heavy wrinkles right there. You know, just just having puffy cheeks. So again, we'll take a look at that. And then using the liquify tool in Photoshop, I actually just kind of smudged in the the sides of my face a little bit by little bit around the corner, tried to edge out the jawline, try and keep that line there because that's mainly what your customers are going to look at. Okay, and then my final tip was to raise the top corner just a little bit, just a little bit, just to make a small notice, just to help make the face look thinner and leaner. So here it is again. Okay, and then this was actually a picture of when I tried on, I was testing out some some of the color contacts that they had at the eye store the other oh, well, back a couple years ago, and I don't know if you can really tell too good in this video, but one eye was green and one eye was brown. I was testing out two different colors, and I decided to go ahead and mimic the same colors, so that was pretty simple. Most of you guys will probably know how to do that. Uh, the video really makes it look bad there. And then I just started to get a little creative. I wanted to try something kind of new, kind of funny, you know, so it's going to be a little freaky, but I thought I'd just show you guys just to show you what you can do and how realistic it can look when you know how to use the Photoshop programs. So careful attention on the eyes. That's what it would be like. <laughs> and then I threw in something because everybody needs to have an eye to look at of, so I go, went ahead and added one on the top <laughs> but that's my video there get some eyes back get one color contact again and I'm back to my fat self so thank you guys a lot appreciate it and uh, I'll be working on this trying to make this a lot better and start putting some tutorials on here for you guys see you buddy thanks